Hey, 3D artist. Today, I'll guide you through five exciting new features in Nagal Software Version 3.1. If you missed our last video covering previous versions of Nagal Pro, check out the link in the video description. For today's demonstration, we'll be using version 3.1 on 60 random library files with no preview images or organized names. These library files include both uncompressed and compressed files. The compressed files come in RAR, 7Z, and ZIP formats. Let's open NAG All and get started. Our mission is to organize these files linking each 3DS Max file with its preview image. First, let's set our 3D library path. Here's the first new feature. You can now save favorite paths by pressing the plus sign. These paths are saved permanently, even after closing the software. We'll keep the default setting active in the Maps Collection options and enable the File Deletion options. Now, let's move on to the second feature. In this release, we've added three main buttons for organizing your 3D library. Let's hit Start to begin organizing. As you see, the organization process starts right away. Let's stop it with the Stop button. The Start button now becomes Resume, so you can continue anytime. If you want to undo the organization, simply press Reset to revert to the library's original layout. Amazing, right? To explore the next feature, let's choose Option 2, which is now compatible with the NAG-IN script. NAG-IN is a new 3DS Mac script that automatically renames and relinks maps for libraries pre-organized by NAG-ALL. It's now compatible with Option 2 from the Maps Collection settings. Nagstore and EKD Tools have collaborated to create Nagin Script. Let's hit Start again. Nag All will search for preview images and rename them to match the corresponding 3DS Max files. If no preview image is found, Nag All will report this with a no preview available image. Now onto the fourth feature, version 3.1 lets you seamlessly expand your 3D library with additional files using the underscore sort folder. Just copy and paste your new 3D files into this folder. keeping the original library path unchanged. You'll see the Resume button is active. Hit Resume and watch as the new files integrate with the main library in seconds. Last but not least, version 3.1 introduces library path relinking and renaming via compatibility with the Nagin script. Nagin works best with the layout from Option 2 in Nag All which organizes folders so each 3DS Max file is paired with its preview image. Let's test this out. Create a new folder called underscore nag in and move all the library files there. No need to keep previews outside the folder. Now, let's open 3DS Max and run the NAGIN script. It offers two modes, solo for the current 3DS Max file and batch for managing the entire library. For this tutorial, we'll use batch mode to clean the 3D library files, collect and rename maps with unique names, and relink them to their respective 3DS Max files. We'll define the Yash NAGIN folder we just created Keep the settings in the Clean and Convert sections as default. In the Collect and Relink section, there are two options. Flatten the paths to the 3DS Max route, 
or move assets to a chosen path. Let's choose the second option, creating a new folder named underscore textures as our assets path. The NAG in script will collect maps, rename them with unique identifiers, and relink them. All in one click. Let's grab a coffee and take a break while we watch the power of the NAG in script in action. You'll see the script opens files one by one, cleans them, collects and renames maps, and relinks them to the 3DS Max files. Mission successfully accomplished. Let's check the bot of textures folder. Each map has a unique name matching its 3DS Max file and is correctly relinked. That's all for today. Order your copy now on the Nagal website. See you in the next tutorial and keep your files organized.